Good morning, my lights. Happy Thursday. I'm getting ready to start this reading. For any newbies, I am going back to a $20 reading I do on occasion for a limited time. If you're interested, you can click on the description below the video and let's get going here. Guys, also, if you watch my channel, please like and subscribe. It helps get the messages out to other aquas and it helps me as well. All right, so right away I'm seeing this King of Cups who is um, moving away from something that's been rubbing you the wrong way. I want to say this is a someone, okay? This person is, you know, somewhat not to be trusted, okay? And you're surveying your life right now, basically. You're, you're you know, doing a deep dive. You're looking at what's serving you, what's not serving you for your better good. Um, and you're wanting to weed out negativity, which is great, guys. I always tell you to do that. That, that doesn't serve you. Um, push it out of your life if you can. End it. Get rid of it. It's not serving you for your better good. It's stealing your happiness. It's stealing your soul, okay? You have, well, I'm not going to say you only have one life because that, that's not true. But, but... You know, you chose to be here at this time. You chose a body. You chose to um, be in this body so you could have experiences that you couldn't otherwise have without it. And, you know, make the best of it, okay? Here I'm seeing... Wow, okay. Wow, wow, wow. All right, so I'm seeing this masculine here going through this tower moment. Um, this is a bad ending here, okay? Um, yeah, there's a lot of confusion right now around this breakup for some reason. There's a lot of chaos and confusion going on here. Um, there is this tower moment, which is a moment in our lives where we just feel like our whole world is crashing down around us. So this is a rather emotional uh, break up. There's a lot uh, going on here and there is there is something to be manifested here though, okay? Um, I don't know quite what that is. All right, I feel like whoever this is, you might be um, just feeling so bad for yourself, so sorrowful from this breakup that you're actually manifesting, um, and don't take this the wrong way, okay, but you're manifesting more negativity than you need to, um, just because you're not, instead of looking for ways to lift your spirit, you're really wallowing in it, you're, you know, and we all do this from time to time, I get it, you know, where we feel sorry for ourselves, and we just sit in it, you know, and we stay in it, and what I suggest you do my masculine is, you know, create a day for yourself, wallow in it, do what, what you have to do to, to, to really, you know, get, you know, feel your feelings, go through your emotions, um, have conversations with spirit, connect to spirit, but then create a day for yourself when you're going to stop wallowing or you're going to change that up. You're going to leave the house. You're going to do things you're not doing right now because of your emotional situation. Okay. So it could be next Thursday. It could be at the end of the month. It could be you pick the day and then tell yourself on this day, I'm going to go out and do um, whatever it is that you normally do. What What's normal for you. Okay. So yeah, I'm seeing this lover in the middle here. And I'm seeing a lot of chaos. All right, so this this was this has been going on for a while. Um, yeah, this is one of those relationships where you were just more comfortable than receiving love from this um, person that you were with. Okay, um, we just get in these relationships that don't bring happiness and get comfortable because for whatever reason we're thinking that's it. That's all we're worth, or that's all there is, or I'm never going to find anyone again, or whatever the reason is, okay? But you're making a decision. Um, you're making a decision to, to 
move on from all of this chaos and all of these emotions, which is great. All right. So this is coming, this decision. You're on the fence right now. Like I said, you're wallowing and we all do it. Um, but, you know, don't forget about your cycle. Okay. Somebody asked me about the cycle. Um, if you're watching, all right, I, 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 I thought I went over it in your reading, but I may not have. All right. The cycle is, is not to do with, it could have something to do with uh, astrology. I'm not really sure. All right. But technically, you know, what it means to me, what spirit gave me about this is this is connected to the thousand years of peace. And each of us has this cycle that is for, it's individualized. It's like a menu for each of us, a menu of beautiful wonderful things that are that spirit is bringing to us for our own betterment so it's all good there's nothing negative in this cycle okay but it's a slew of stuff for us it's like gifts from spirit okay and this you know if you're wallowing in it you're not going to see any of this that's coming to you all right um start paying attention to what's coming to you the positive things this is all positive coming to you from your cycle pay attention to it guys okay um you know you could easily overlook it and just think it was fate it, it was this it was that but it's your cycle and that's partly being produced by spirit and partly by uh, mankind okay mankind is in the background right now i always talk about this uh propaganda war we're having um it's become a little deeper than that but you know guys i did want to talk to you about that i just want to say that for those of you who are really having a hard time right now with what's going on in the world don't don't okay because and don't give up right now because we're almost at the finish line here and you're going to see it. And you chose to be here. You just don't remember. You chose to be here at this time to see something that's never been seen before by humankind. Um, it's going to be something amazing. I talk about this. I know. And you guys, uh, I, you know, it's it's frustrating to me because you guys don't know what this is or some of you do actually some of you do all right but what is coming guys is going to be amazing it's going to be the best the best life you could even dream about and then some okay um we're pulling out i'm not but you know i'm helping by doing this and keeping your spirits up and you know telling empaths that they're empaths and getting people to do their work who are meant to be here and and do do this spiritual work okay if you're an empath if you're a light worker you know i'm trying to bring this to your attention you're here for a purpose to uh help help out uh people that are needing help right now and you know, so we're pulling out the corruption from the planet. Okay. That's what's being done. All right. This is an operation. It's a worldwide operation. It's huge. It's very secretive. Um, they're not going to tell you their moves and what they're doing. Okay. Because obviously that would work against them, but you know, and they're not going to talk about it on TV. All right. So, so yeah, look at it that way. All right. I'm seeing some good news coming in because something ended that was causing um, a lot of you aquas to carry around this burden and feel saddened. And this was, you know, keeping you from being in a state of gratefulness, whatever this was, um, it was emotional. And I feel like with this particular layout, this is a spiritual thing, all right? There's a lot of energy out there. There's there's a push and pull of good and evil right now with this war. And you guys are in the middle. You know, we're all one. And we are the collective. And everything we feel, everything we go through, every thought we have, it's energy. And it, it gets pushed out there in the universe. And guess what? We all feel it. We all feel it, okay? It's like a compilation of everyone's feelings, thoughts, emotions. Plus, you know... 
the the outside energies, the spiritual energies that are there to begin with, the Schumann resonance and other things that are godly that are going on because of this war. So you guys are like in a big washing machine right now. You're all over the place. You're being agitated. You know, you're being thrown out, put back in. And you're just, yeah, that's why you're feeling the way you're feeling, guys. But just hang in there because, you know, I know I'm going on and on about this, but I've been wanting to talk to you about this. A lot of people are writing me that they're giving up. They're, 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 they've had it, you know. Um, they can't wait. Like, what I talk about, what you're waiting for, like, don't wait for that. You know, just try to get through the best you can right now. And I know it's exciting. So, so some of you, you know, are, we're all waiting. Let's be real. We're all waiting. Okay. But you can't make it your, your everything because you, you're going to want to take yourself out, you know, because it's taking a long time. It's taking longer than they ever thought it was going to take because this, uh, thing that they're dealing with is bigger than they imagined. Okay. Way bigger. It's, deep and wide. Okay. So anyway, um, there's good news coming in about something that's ending. So I feel like burdens are going to be lifted. Um, and here over in the corner, I'm seeing wealth. I'm seeing a feeling of well being. Okay. I'm seeing that you guys are getting ready to, um, feel better emotionally because of some kind of news some kind of news that's going to come to you, okay? Um, it looks like it's bringing in celebration, happiness. Um, yeah, there's things going on in the background that, you know, you're unaware of, okay? And um, again, you know, they're showing money, uh, some kind of connection to money. Um, yeah, yeah. Here's money again. They're showing money. They're saying that there's going to be some kind of offer coming in, which we know about. All right. A lot of people are saddened right now over their, you know, partly because of money. Okay. And I'm seeing um, this Knight of Swords coming in. Um, this is not romantic. Yeah, this reading is also about the collective, okay? About everyone just, you know, uh, knowing who you are, staying strong, having confidence, okay? Having confidence and, you know, this is something that's coming in. I, I'm not sure what it is. Um, there is an offer of finance over here. Whatever this is, it's, it's saying it's coming in quick. It's coming in fast, okay? So it's something that everybody's been thinking about that they want. And here they're saying it's money. Okay. So guys, um, I'm seeing money coming in. Um, they said it's coming in quickly now. All right. A lot of opportunity and an ace of cups. Okay. So there's going to be a lot of opportunity. There already is. You guys have the world card. You have the world at your feet. Okay, so go get it, guys. Whatever it is you're wanting, I believe you can go get it right now. You can manifest it. Just look at look at things like your glass is half full instead of half empty and perceive life this way. Okay, no matter how much negativity you hear, create your own uh, vision of how you want your life to be and, and go for it. Create it, paint it, make it real. Okay, that's what life is. I mean, some of you can't wrap your head around that, but that's what it is. Your emotions and your feelings create your future. Okay. Um, thus manifestation, manifestation is a real thing and it exists. Okay. So manifest your life the way you want it. It's like a big paintbrush. Okay. And you have this ace of cups. Um, so this is what you want. It's coming. Okay. It's going to come as opportunities, like you've never seen before, okay? This is something you've never seen before, guys, and your cup is going to run over with joy and happiness. Guys, that is the reading. I hope you uh, enjoyed it, and I hope you have a fabulous Thursday. Until tomorrow.